Tour of the Royal Tour of New Zealand and Australia and the Duke, Duchess and baby Prince George are still in Wellington. They're having some time out today after their much anticipated arrival yesterday. Sky News reporter Natasha Smith joins us now from Wellington. Seems like a pretty good day to stay indoors and get over their jet lag, Natasha. Yes, the Royals are having a rest day today, but the big question is where are they staying? We saw the motorcade depart Government House yesterday after they were officially welcomed, and there were reports it headed just out of Wellington to an area called the Wairarapa. There's a luxury estate there called the Farihoko Lodge, where they may or may not be staying. Regardless of that, they will head back here to the city tomorrow to meet a group of other new parents at an event at Government House. We caught up with those parents this morning and here you can take a look at them. Ten little babies all born in the month of July and though they don't know it, they're about to take part in a piece of history. Their parents, on the other hand, are well aware. I'm just over the moon. <laughs> kind of speechless in the way. She's a bit of a bulldozer. She just tends to crawl over everything. I'm more worried that she's going to crawl over George more than anything. We'll keep on uh, telling him stories about, you know, when he met Prince George, you know, when he was, you yeah. know, son was eight months old. And... The tots are all aged between eight and nine months old, four boys and six girls with first-time parents from ethnically diverse backgrounds. They'll meet with the Duke, Duchess and baby Prince tomorrow afternoon at Government House. We're in the Blundell Room, which has got a beautiful soft carpet that our babies can christen in one way or another. Um, and there will be some soft cushions on the ground so that, um, that there will be some blankets, lots of toys that are age appropriate. Parents Alana and Philip are feeling especially lucky they've been chosen to meet the royals. My grandfather met um, the Queen many years ago and uh, my father's also met uh, Prince Charles and so hopefully tomorrow the two of us will be meeting another couple of generations of royalties. And they're hoping this could be the start of a stronger family connection. George was born around the same time, so we did joke that uh, it would be funny if they met up and, you know, it's her first date, so... <laughs> Prince George will be gifted a plunket book and a blue bear to take with him back home. Natasha Smith, Sky News.